What is up, everybody? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, Ninja Smoke. We got Ninja Smoke. We got EJ Melendez, uh, Juan Miguel Mitra, and I don't have my soundtrack. We better get that on right now. Give me a second while I do that. So how are you guys this afternoon? Are you guys ready for a one-of-a-kind stream? Well, not really one-of-a-kind. We've done this before. But definitely not, um, uh, not always do we get a big name from uh, Splinterland <laughs> here in the stream. And uh, we got him right now. Okay, let me check. Um, there's something I forgot to put here. Of course, we need to put in... I'm gonna pay, need to put in something here. I mean, where is he? Here we are. Of course, we gotta put his logo on. That's him, guys. We got the famous Bulldog. He's gonna be here in a few minutes. We're gonna be uh, speak to him. We're gonna speak to him. So be ready for your questions. And if you stay on the stream, we're gonna be winning some packs as well. Eating sugar. Yes, and Talpak. Yeah, we're gonna be Talpak too. Uh, my stream froze. I think the stream. And uh, we got him right Sonic Caster Wolf, Robert right. Joseph uh, Pigenia, thank you very much. Meron uh, Bad, yes, you got a badge, Pietro Marate. You ready for tomorrow as well? Okay, guys, let's uh, enter the Discord. He's already waiting for us. It is 5 a.m. up in where he is. And uh, here we go. Let's, let's, uh, let's go get him. Sir Bulldog, are you there? I am here. Okay, guys, <laughs> we got him. It's real. He's awake. I hope he is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I, uh, I, at least physically, yes, I am awake. Right. So we, we're, you know, we can we can speak to like half of you awake, and, uh, <laughs> and we're gonna be good as well. You got a lot of fans down here in the Philippines. I myself watch your videos, so it's gonna be a really cool stream. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, well, a few days ago, we had Luke up here, and we had a lot of fun. But it was not the, I guess it was not the, how they say this, the the um our times. I mean, my time slot when I stream. So a lot of the Wolf fam was not able to watch that. Right now, we're in kind of the right time for uh, for the Wolf fam, and uh, they're ready for you. So can you say hi to the Wolf fam? <laughs> we call him the Wolf fam. <laughs> yeah, hello, Wolf fam. I'm I'm glad I was able to to make it uh, to make it to your time slot here. So I'm uh, I'm ready to have some fun. <laughs> okay, looking at the comments here, um, uh, we got. We're there. We, we got Hi Mr. Bulldog from Sam Sam. We got Rain Rain. We got Lever Pelicano. John Patrick is here. Our, our Mr. Coronado. What's up, Bulldog? And uh, we got Juan Miguel Mitra. We got a whole lot more. And uh, once again, guys, <laughs> this is Damien Wolf from Wolf's Den. And uh, we are now live with an interview with Bulldog 1205. He is, not going to lie here, he is probably, if not the, one of the biggest 
Spinterland streamers in YouTube right now. Are you with what now? Tw 20k subscribers already on your page? Yes, I have pa I have passed 20k now. Awesome. Like Jesus. Like <laughs> wish we can that <laughs> we can get to that. Um but uh, definitely we want to ask you a little bit about that. So so how about let's start with an interview with um uh, probably an introduction i mean we got we got some people who are fans of yours but I, I got some people who have not heard of you since they're just in facebook so why don't you give us a, a brief introduction of who you are what exactly do you, stand, do you stand for i mean what exactly is your content creation and stuff like that go ahead yeah so so i'm i'm bulldog um i am i'm actually the community manager now as well. I just kind of took over that that role recently. Uh, but I started playing Splinterlands back in May of 2021, mm -hmm. and I did come over with with a little bit of a following. I had about 7,000 subscribers before I before I came over. Um, I played a game called Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes before this. Um, so, so that helped that I had a little bit of a, a following coming in, and I just happened to, to make make guides at the at the right time when i came over there weren't there weren't really a lot of a lot of new player guides or a lot of them were were created by some of the like some of the original players several years ago so they were kind of outdated so uh, i started playing it uh noticed that there was a kind of kind of a need there and since uh since i already had a a little bit of a history creating content and streaming everything it was, it was pretty easy to to flow right into things um and uh and get started made a bunch of new player videos i think it, i think it honestly helped because i had never i was not in the blockchain whatsoever this was my intro into blockchain really? so i think i was i think i was able to relate to a lot of new players a little better that way because of because of that okay. um Sorry. and uh Before interrupting, when was this when you when you went to the Netherlands? so may may 2021 all right we're just almost about the same time. Uh, go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're you're good. Uh, so so yeah, made a few videos, had a couple take off, and uh, luckily it was just at the right time. That was when the game started taking off as well. Um, I invested, uh, as far as cards go, I invested two thousand dollars into into Untamed packs right before they sold out. Mm -hmm. So those skyrocketing helped me build my deck a little bit and and be competitive and and kind of kind of jumpstart things that way as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So, so what drew you to Splinterlands in the first place? I mean, um, was there anything in particular? Did somebody uh, point you to it, or what? I I just kind of randomly stumbled across it. Um, I there was there was probably a couple key things. I mean, I do like I do like card games, but I was looking for I was looking for a game that was that had quick battles that was that was that was quick to play. I like the House of Wonderlands. They're only like three-minute battles or whatever that I could play like during during a break at work or even at work when I wasn't supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be doing anything. <laughs> I got you. Uh, <laughs> I think we've um, so, so some of you don't know how that is. Mm -hmm. um, and and then the the blockchain part kind of interests me for for a couple of reasons. I mean, actually, it had nothing to do with blockchain itself, but just that you could could resell things. Right. Because I, the game I played before, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, was, I mean, it was a common gotcha game that I was, I was using YouTube to fund it, but I, I, I spent, over the course of five years playing that game, probably $8,000 or so, um, on the game, and then ended up getting banned by the game because they didn't like one of the videos that I made. What? Actually, they didn't. They didn't like. They didn't like several of the videos that I game that I made. So it was like all this money that I spent was like it was just down the drain. There was nothing I could. Nothing I could do. So the idea of of not even I wasn't in it to make profit. Just the idea that when I was done playing, if I if I spent eight thousand dollars on this game and I could resell it for four thousand dollars when I was done, that was still four thousand dollars more than I had. Like at least I could recover some of it. Right. Um, so the, the fact that it wouldn't just be an entire, entire way, I mean, not that everything that I spent was waste. I mean, there's still, there was still value in making value, content and right, everything, right. but, but, uh, there would still be monetary value there. So, so that kind of, uh, appealed to me as long as having the quick battles and that type of thing. So, so I jumped in and, and it's, uh, it's been great. Okay. So, um, well, I'm looking at the, the, the comments right now. People are telling me that my voice is a little low. 
but I I don't think I don't think it's my voice. It's just that we're kind of used to Bulldog being. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. But you know, Bulldog. Yeah, it, it, it is true. One of the uh, very distinct, uh, I guess. Uh, I guess features about your stream is that you are very high energy whenever you have something like an event going on or, or whatever. It is so high energy and we get all wrapped up inside of it and uh, you know your expressions like when you're talking about the chickens, you're talking about the squirrels. It's just really, it just uh, pulls us in this, this kind of energy. So I would like to apologize to the audience right now because you know I got him at 5 a.m. so he's, he's probably at operating at 30 percent right now <laughs> but uh, but he's he's still with us he's still with us so <laughs> we got a lot of people uh, greeting you right now um uh, let's just read a few more of their comments um yeah they're just uh, talking about my voice being a little low i'm trying to fix that don't worry um Mabilispa converge what are you talking about jrel he doesn't have converge in uh in uh oh, yeah what state are you from i mean uh just a uh, general, not don't give me your address, but <laughs> what state are you from, uh, Bulldog? Oh, um, I'm in I'm in Indiana. Indiana, awesome. Okay. Uh, next question from the stream, Sir Wolf. Um, uh, ask Bulldog if he cancels rent. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, <laughs> are you gonna say I mean, about that? I mean, yes. I I honestly do. I. That's uh, yeah, yes, I do. I, I don't know if you want me to to talk more about that or not, but um, not not. I mean, not necessarily all the time, but particularly the cards that usually the ones that I cancel are the ones that I run out for power because those are the ones that I mean I, I will I will redo them as the season goes on. Every few days the price changes, mm -hmm. and I will reset them. The game does not give owners a way to. Like I can't set the rent up. Like I can't say, okay, I only want you to rent, want to rent this card to you for three days or for two days or whatever the case is. Um, so, so yeah, the only way for us to to be able to to set our own days is just to go in and cancel them when we're when we're done. Hmm. I mean, well, I think they're they're. I'm not sure if th this is kind of uh, <laughs> it, it's not really uh, <laughs> it, it's sort of serious and sort of uh different i mean uh, i'm sure they're talking about the eos rentals so <laughs> i'm sure you know they're they're kind of uh th they're, 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 lo they're looking probably looking for um uh, i guess you know how it is right i mean they're going to be renting something for power and then so that person uh canceled at the very last minute and then they lost their power and then everything so uh people are appreciating your honesty it's looking like they're looking at look at the yeah. looking at the comments here you know you're thinking uh He's being honest. Yeah, I do cancel as well, but I very rarely put stuff on the market for renting. How is my voice right now? I'm trying to speak louder so that I can match Bulldog's volume. <laughs> do let me know. Yes, we're looking for cheap rents. Okay, so fine. <laughs> but can you can you guys ask some more questions other than the rentals? Maybe there's something else you'd like to ask. Okay. And, and I will say I will say before we go on that the 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 community manager manager side of me here the 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 game is aware that that people want a different rental system yes. where you can you can say okay we're gonna lock in something for a season or or something like that and and as a as an owner I would love to be able to rent like rent somebody power for an entire season and build in that end of season pricing into that so that I as an owner I'd rather get higher and steady income like throughout the throughout the season instead of just having like one big it's almost like one big payday comes in on the last day of the season right um right. so i'd rather it be be spaced out and, and being able to to build pricing in there and maybe people would ever be able to find better values there if they're they're renting for an entire season um so the the game's aware that that uh, that, that is something that people want and i think that's something they do want to fix Mm -hmm. So that that will probably come at some point, but I, I think right now it's it's more like we want to get modern format here, we want to get land here. There, yeah. There's, there's other higher priority things right now mm -hmm. that they're that they're working on, but that is something on their radar that they do want to change. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. We got we got a lot more people in the on the uh, on the comments right now, and we're gonna get to you guys in a second. I do have a few more questions for Bulldog myself. 
Uh, one of them, I was really particularly, I was both surprised and not so surprised that you're now a community manager. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came about? I mean, uh, did you apply for the post or were you, uh, what, what happened? Yeah, so I, they they made a, an announcement on the official Discord that they were that they were looking for a community manager, and I just I sent them a message and I was like, okay, what's like is this some is this something that uh, that that we could work out that that I could I could fit in this role? What type of, of thing are you wanting? Mm -hmm. I I wasn't really I honestly I didn't think it was going to be something that that I would be able to get to to be honest I. I I mean, there, there's all. It's uh, there's there's only so much I can I can talk about there there about those behind the scenes <laughs> discussions, but um, right, right. I I really didn't didn't expect to to get it, mm, but I'm... I. Yeah, I mean things things just happen happen to work out, so it's it's very nice. So I I went from, I went from being a pharmacist to stopping that and wow. trying to do YouTube full time, and. I never really got completely there. I cut my hours down as a pharmacist to about 15 hours a week or so. So I, I cut it down very significantly. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. I was at 50. Went from 50 to, to 15. Um, so that was nice. But being, it, it was it was kind of stressful because I I mean I've got I've got a lot of subs on on YouTube and things and a, a decent following, but that's still not. I mean as far as like making a living off of it, it was. It, it was still pushing things really and it made it made content creation a lot more stressful mm. and whenever it was like, like whenever my actual income for the for the week or the month or whatever was dependent on how well <laughs> my videos did or, yeah. or how well my investments did it made things a, a little more stressful and was like okay if you sometimes you put all this energy into to making a video and it doesn't do well and it's 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 kind of frustrating but then then it's like, oh man, I was hoping to to get so much affiliate income from this or or whatever the case is, and it, it did make things a lot more stressful. It was still it was still fun and exciting to to kind of be essentially be my own boss and doing my own thing. Right. Um. But but there was a, a lot of stress there. So now being community manager, I, I'm salary, so I have a I'm back to having a, a fixed income there again, and now mm. I can do content creation more more as a hobby, more as I enjoy it. And if it's something where okay, I just I just don't feel like making a video today, or don't feel like streaming today, stop. or whatever, <laughs> I can I can only do it when I'm enjoying it, right. and and I like that better. That is awesome, man. I mean, um, I told you it was both surprising and not surprising. I mean, for you to get the role, um, I guess no one is more deserving. You, you're probably. I mean, when I had Luke here a few days ago, and uh, Luke did mention um, uh, about well. I know it wasn't about it wasn't me actually. He was speaking with uh, with Stever. Stever, yeah, he was speaking Stever, and then they were looking at who was like the most successful one in in, uh, in YouTube, and uh, they did say it was you. So I mean, it was acknowledged by by both Luke and Stever that you're like the biggest, and I I would agree with that. The biggest YouTube uh, Splinterland streamer, um, right up there with uh, I guess with Dwayne and then the other guys. So I mean, we gotta look at the people here in the comments. They're asking a lot of stuff. Come on, guys. I mean, you also watch Bulldog on YouTube. You can also ask these questions there. But it would be cool for you if you can answer some of a few things here. Um, Mika, I was going to ask this question, but I think I'll, I'll put that for later. There's this one question from John Carlo Mortera Tan. He said, why did you choose Bulldog as your screen name? Right. This is interesting. And there's a 1205 too after the Bulldog name. So that might count. Uh, that might uh, mean something as well. So... It was it was just my it was just my Xbox game game name from that I created in I think two thousand like two thousand nine or something like that wow. um, a long time ago mm -hmm. when I when I got started making videos again going back to the Star Wars game I had no intention of this being a a normal thing um, so I I just made the channel my my username and yeah I've got the, got the the letters after it and everything I would have I would have come up with something a little more creative <laughs> if i had known that um but no i was i was actually just uploading a video of mm -hmm. i found kind of a uh, a loophole in in game mechanics in this game and i uploaded it okay had no followers or anything and and it just absolutely blew up, blew up. this was a fairly big game and then i decided okay i was gonna take 
Uh, I actually did that a couple times, and after I, I basically accidentally got like 1,500, 2,000 followers with it, and was like, okay, well, I guess I, I'm going to take advantage of this now. I can monetize it, so I can I can fund my game a little bit. Mm -hmm. So so I might as well might as well go on. So right. it was just my Xbox name, which uh, Bulldog is is the mascot of the university that I went to. There we go. I see it. I was going to ask, okay, so it was your Xbox name, but why came up with it? So I guess it was because of it was the school mascot. And is there any meaning to the 1205? Not not really. Um, <laughs> it was the random numbers that you need to put in when you make IGN? Kind of, <laughs> I, kind of yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a... the So 12 would be like December 2000. 2005 it's a date okay uh, um it's a month and a year mm. but it's i mean it's kind of yeah i mean it's it, it was it was trying to fit in the the randomness i think it yeah I, yeah <laughs> yeah okay we we'll, we get to that we know we know it we know it all right and, and it's looking a little bit like uh the coffee might uh, need a little bit into your system, so don't worry, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll cut you some slack over there. It's just, you know, our, our, my fam is uh, hyped up to see you. We got A Slim, Hello Wolf, and Bulldog. Hey there. Mika has a question. What is your favorite summoner? I mean, okay, yeah, I, I, I want you to answer it. <laughs> I'm not my favorite, to my favorite summoner. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would, I would have to go with Kitty. I knew it. I knew it was going to come into Kitty. Okay. Uh, so we, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk about Kitty a lot in your streams as well. And, you know, the, Mika, he is, uh, trust me, trust me. When when Bulldog uh, does the streams, he talks about Kitty and he talks about all the other summoners as well. But um, one thing we like about your streams, you give very much attention to the detail, especially when the combat happens. And then when you, uh, when you, you know, when you read off on the skills and what happens, um, you definitely uh, bring out the life into the action. Right. So, uh, I'd like to thank you for that as well, because you know it's is one of the reasons. It's for me as well. It's it's one of the reasons why I'm inspired to continue streaming, uh, seeing your hyped up energy. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I should have the same kind of energy, but I, I come around failing and becoming more <laughs> chill and laid back. But definitely, I have you in mind whenever I try to do a stream, and hopefully, I can get the same kind of following. Um, bro, Alex, what can you say about the future of SPS? Hmm. Hey, come on, come on! Anything to answer from that one? Far, I mean, like, are you wanting my as far as like utility or, or prices or, or what type of thing? I mean, yeah, I can bro, give I can give my can. own speculation. Now, I mean, it's a let's, it's let's go with that. Say, right. Let's go with that. It's a, it's important to say that this this is coming from from me as a as a person and not uh i could as an individual not as a community manager yeah but and you from a person can... who's been playing for a while and has how many regions by the way how many, <laughs> how many uh, no not not regions <laughs> I, I do have three tracks there we go oh uh, yeah i wish i had and i even i even debated buying a region when i started mm. um and I, I wanted more than three tracks to be honest but i i bought a few mm -hmm. no I, I can't remember whether i bought one or two and i was going to buy some more and i was i was transferring money um okay. there was still we thought there was still maybe four or five days left uh, i believe it was on if i remember the days right i might be slightly off but on friday i think it was a friday they sent out a post say or like an announcement saying land land's almost gone it'll oh. probably be sold out by monday um oh. and then it then it sold out next Saturday morning because it was Saturday morning as I was going into work. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like 9 a.m. Eastern time the next day. And I pull up and the track and the, everything is just flying. And there was only one more track that I was able to buy. And I stuck it on, I stuck it on a credit card mm -hmm. so that I could actually actually get that on there. But I had I, I think I had like six or seven thousand more dollars moving over and I was going to try try and buy buy a track but then all, all that was left was the one region and i got one more region left or not sorry one more track, track left right well, um and I, because because fiat money is so slow to it move is, it is I, under, I knew it i knew it and uh i guess uh, it's a little bit frustrating but dude i mean you got three tracks i mean like i have one plot <laughs> and i'm so happy with one, my, my one measly plot but bulldog i gotta say 
one of the reasons why I got this one Misty plot was watching your video. I mean, when you made that video about your bullish with lands. So that that got me convinced to get this one Misty plot. So I'm in it for the yeah. I mean, I guess I'm all in. In, in the level that I'm in, at least. <laughs> With one, like, one week slot. <laughs> and I, st I still think that's going to be huge. I can't wait for for land. But that's for, for as, um, SPS. Mm -hmm. I I have no idea what's going to happen over the next about month or so. Mm -hmm. um, but, lo like, I say long-term. Long-term long is crypto speaking. Uh, like, four to six months down the line, I am super bullish about SPS because you're going to start to get utility. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be. You're gonna need it for the Rift Watcher packs. They're gonna start doing. I mean, they've talked about how anything good coming to the game is going to use vouchers. We saw that with uh, with Waka. We've got. Uh, they're gonna. They're gonna use that with with the land coming up. Mm -hmm. So it's going to. It's gonna be used in so many things. And the last time that we had like true utility for for SPS, like where massive. <laughs> Massive utility where everybody was fighting over it was the pre-sale. <laughs> right. And we right. saw how much SPS spiked leading into the pre-sales. Everybody wanted those vouchers to start buying the new set with Chaos right. and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I think, I personally think you're going to see a similar type run like that once we get, Riff once watchers. we get to, yeah, Rift Watchers, Riff if watchers, we see yeah. how it's needed for land. Uh, when this, especially this long-term utility gets here. Everything so far with SPS has really just been short-term utility. Mm -hmm. Well, once we start to see like land that's going to be here forever and going to use SPS and have long-term utility, I think you'll see you'll see a more permanent spike in SPS where it'll spike and then hold that value instead of just, just spiking and then falling off as soon as the utility has gone. Ooh. And uh, I think we got, you know, I guess people are really, really excited about uh, the stuff coming up in Splinterlands. And I, wait, guys, I got to... I got to I got to say something especially to the people answering on the stream itself. I got to filter your questions a little bit, okay? Because I can't ask a few of these of these here. Like I mean, wh how would I why would I ask Bulldog who let the dogs out? I mean, I got to <laughs> I got to filter <laughs> some of these questions here. Um uh, Sir Wolf, can you ask your Bulldog why Splinter Lance he chose of all NFT? I guess he already answered that earlier, Rain. Um okay, Arthur asked a question here. How many wakas did you buy, Bulldog? <laughs> yeah, just one. He got I one, guys. Got one, he but I got did get one. one. Jeez, I'm crow. He got one. He got a. Oh, he got a two. Did you did you get it with the usual means or did you buy it off the market? I got it the usual means. Right. right. I and I did not expect it to sell out so fast. Jeez, I, I mean, at the first minute, man. I mean, the first minute, it was sold out. Wow. And I, I'm, I. I was kind of lucky too because I was not rushing. Like I was, You're I was there right chilling. at the time. But like w when it popped up, I was kind of also like <laughs> looking at the artwork on the screen right. and and kind of seeing how they how they laid everything out and and just looking at it. Because mm. um, I, I mean, I didn't think I needed to get it in the first minute, okay. so I yeah. was I was being very relaxed right. getting it. Chilling, and I... a macchiato, it's buying a waka. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I mean, luckily I didn't delay too much. I didn't. What was it like, forty-three seconds or whatever? I, I I didn't delay that long. But but no, I definitely was not just hitting that button as soon as it popped up. Right, right. Not like the rest of us. And you know, we're we're hitting it in. Uh, we're imagining that we're hitting it because we <laughs> we cannot afford it. <laughs> but uh, no, that's pretty cool. Cause uh, have you used it in a stream so far? Sorry, I haven't uh, haven't uh, checked your latest one. But have you have you used it so far? Yes. Yeah, so two hours after it came out, mm -hmm. uh, we used it in a stream. And it, it did not go well. Uh, <laughs> Why is that? I mean, the, the stream itself was a lot of fun, but right. between in in battles where there was only one waka, so it wasn't like bo both walk a walk on both sides. Mm -hmm. I think I forget the exact number, but it was it was something like it won three out of fifteen battles. Mm -hmm. I know it didn't get a, a win until battle number ten. So. Waka didn't really perform very well either. Either when I was using him or when my opponents were were using him. What, what but, league but was we this? Were... What league was this? Just to uh, just this to... was so this was champion. Champion. Okay. Yeah. Um. And, and to be to be fair, everybody was just trying to force him into battles, so we weren't always necessarily using him at the right. opportune time. Mm -hmm. So so that did did kind of hurt, but. I was still, I was still kind of disappointed with him a little bit. Hmm, okay, well, there was a lot of uh, right. talk about him, but but you know, um, we you tried it in champion. I mean, 
you think how would it perform in like in the lower league? Let's say bronze or silver. I mean bronze probably, but silver, you think it's gonna do well? Did, did, have you tried it in the other leagues? I, I have not. I do have a silver level account that, mm. that I can try it on. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I've been I've been running these delegation giveaways, so mm -hmm. I actually haven't had my walker to play with. Ooh, okay. Um, but I, I do think he'd be better in the lower leagues because in, up in Champion League, everybody has more health. Right. So a poison is a flat two damage regardless of what your what league you're in. Mm -hmm. So in in the lower leagues, two health is much more a much more significant amount of damage than it is up at up at champion. Mm -hmm. And and so there's a lot less skills, of course, to you know to cleanse that uh, poison. I guess uh, I mean in the bronze league, so probably that could be an and, issue too. And that yeah, that is absolutely absolutely true as well. And and just other I mean other skills uh, as well that that could be added on to to provide other benefits, but. The, the interesting thing is it, it's only a max level card. So it's definitely not designed to be used True. in, in yeah. bronze or silver right. or something like that. Because, I, I mean, unless you're just... Maybe outside of like your top silver tournaments or leaderboard or something like that. Mm -hmm. Most people are not going to have a $2,000 card playing in, in silver. So it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. Mm, okay, well... Um, I guess a bittersweet kind of thing with Waka there. Maybe there's a maybe there's a lot more interest interesting stuff once the other summoners come in or, or whatever. But you know we're definitely uh, I guess everybody's hyped up because of it, right? Because of the limitation, and uh, you know you got one out of a, a thousand, right? Out of all the thousands of players, <laughs> you know, wanting to get the Waka, um, uh, you know, at least you got one, and that's that's something, right? And we got a lot of of it as on sale as well as the marketplace. We can see it uh, selling for around. Uh, I think 2k plus dollars, so it's uh, it's a little bit more than what you guys uh, bought it for. But I'm yeah, sure I'm definitely I'm definitely glad to have it. Um, even just as a as a collector, I, I saw, I'm also a I'm very much a collector and there want we go. I want to collect every <laughs> single card regardless of how good it is. Right. I want every single well at least regular foil. Right. Um, I don't think I'll ever have every single gold foil. Those are just that that's too much. Come but on, we my, believe in you, man. We know you're gonna be able to get it. We know you can. <laughs> my my goal is to get every single every single card mm -hmm. uh, in the game. At uh, at some point, actually, I mean, I added an alpha card yesterday. Even the alphas so. and the betas, huh? Wow, that's gonna cost a bit, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's not a, it's not I, a... I need land to get here. I need that land income. Right, right. When the land. <laughs> okay, so there's a few more uh, people here in the chat. I wanna I wanna get to acknowledge them. Uh, we got Sir A Slim uh, from uh, Project Ace. We got Old Meat X Gaming, of course. Uh, so much more names, I can't read them all, but we got Chevy, of course, Furious Chicken. He's another uh, streamer from uh, from YouTube. Um, we got Vince Magallanes. Oh, he says 30 seconds. All right. Uh, did you get the gold foil or regular foil, Waka? That was a Ju question. Just regular foil. Just regular. I wasn't lucky enough for gold. <laughs> okay. I, I would have absolutely sold that if I got it, though, because, th I mean, those are going for so much money. Well, I don't even True. know if one's been sold, but they, they could go for so much money. So, yeah, True. I probably would have sold it and bought a regular foil and then, then gone and the bought, oh my like, God. Finish my my Yoden or my <laughs> Llama or something like that. Yoden, no. Oh, okay, I know, I know that Yoden. What? Actually, that's one of my, I guess my, my favorite card, which I don't have actually. So speaking of that, um, Black Rose has a question here. What is your ace card? I mean, we know Kitty is your favorite, but what is your ace card in which you have the highest win rate? I guess is there something that comes to mind? Oh, what do I have the the highest win rate with? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. I mean, Ooh. Black Rose. You know, you know how Splinter Lance is, right? I mean, you just gotta be ready for all rule sets, right? We can't just keep playing one card. But, but maybe there is one card that you know you always go to. Like uh, again, for me, it's a Yodin. So whenever fire is available, I usually go to Yodin. Maybe you have something similar or uh, something that comes to mind with the highest win rate. As far as, as far as monster, I would say the one that I'm if if it's available to be played that I'm always playing is Dragon Jumper. Yes, I agree, one hundred percent. Dragon jump. That that one is is almost always finding its way in, into my deck when I can play dragons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. Um, what what yeah, skill no, it's, set? It's, what skill set I do wish... you want, like most from Dragon Jumper? <laughs> what a question. Well, opportunity is one of my favorite uh, favorite abilities, mm -hmm. and then just have a fast, high high damage opportunity with stun. 
I, I absolutely love that. Lately, I've been liking pairing uh, uh, Lyra with that in, in death and having that speed, that, that uh, high opportunity speed to, to start out with. Mm, right. And trust me, you know, when, whenever, uh, whenever speed comes up into play and uh, you got Drag Dra Dragon Jumper, it's not a slow poke, guys. You know, <laughs> he's pretty fast as well. So I would understand why he would be up on that list. Uh, Justin has a question. Uh, Bulldog, if you can add the new rule set, what would you like to add? Anything you'd oh, like there, to add? There, there are a lot of things there. Um, oh, if we had the discussion a couple weeks ago, and I'm trying <laughs> to remember what my favorite one was. So I, I think I think there's a lot there's a lot of room to, to add things on. And... Okay, I gotta remember things. I like so we've got a little league. I've I've said that I, that I think having a major league would be cool, where it's the opposite. You can only play five mana or higher. Mm, all right. Um, yeah. That would be that would be cool. Uh. Oh, what are? Now I've now I've got to pull up some of these these abilities. <laughs> you're I'm draw I'm drawing a blank sure, on sure. on what like this is something that I've thought about in the past. And, <laughs> and you mean it, made, it was in a video, so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, and and now I'm uh, completely forgetting. Uh, completely forgetting what what things were. Right. Okay. Well, you can. Um, you can uh, Maybe you want to come back to that stream as well and <laughs> think about it. But, but don't worry, we, we can come back to that question a little later. Um, I want to acknowledge some person here, a person here, his name is some person. Uh, John Michael Sendig, he actually won second place in your Bulldog Bash. So he wanted to say hi to you because he, uh, he's oh. always part of that. Congratulations, right. that, was a, that was a great run. Mm -hmm. Um, Zen, Zen Sports was talking. I don't know if you actually were watching the Zen Sports stream or not, but mm -hmm. they were they were talking about how that was the first time they'd come across uh, come across you in a Zen Sports tournament mm -hmm. in the in the finals or anything, and uh, were impressed to to go all the way to the finals and the and then basically the first one. There we go. All right. Well, Johnny Depp's here. I want to acknowledge her presence as well. Hello. We got Ryan Tenori Vanguardia. Um, uh, John is asking if Bulldog is live at Twitch. I do remember that you did have a Twitch. Yeah, he uh, he does have a Twitch channel as well. Um, you can go ahead and, and look for it. You want to give out the link as well, uh, Bulldog? Oh, I can I can post it in there. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, because I only have your YouTube channel here, but he also has a Facebook channel now, guys. And there was a, one stream where I was the only one there. So he's more uh, he's more <laughs> active in uh, in YouTube. But why don't we uh, we blow up his Facebook channel as well so you can list it up. You know, 20k followers, but he, he can afford a few more, right? I mean, <laughs> compared to my 200 followers <laughs> subscribers on <laughs> YouTube, but uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, John Michael, look at his Twitch channel. I think you... Um, is there a certain schedule that you go to in Twitch or Facebook or... So I, I completely I completely redid how I stream now. So I do mm. not stream from my 20k YouTube channel anymore mm. because of how the algorithms work there. I created the a whole new right. created a whole new YouTube channel that's just for streaming. Mm. And whenever I stream, I stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter all at the same time. So any of the four platforms you can you can find me on. Uh, I put my Twitch in there, and there it, it's posted by my YouTube page you can also see see the YouTube um, YouTube page there but but yeah so I, I abandoned my twitch affiliate so that I I can multi-stream right that was that was the reason I didn't do that before True. is that twitch has that rule that if you're an affiliate <sighs> yeah yeah so I can I can no longer profit off of twitch uh, but for me it's more important growing growing the brand and growing my brand in Splinterlands um, so being able to to stream to multiple places and, and get more access that way is more important than than getting the the tips and the subs and everything from YouTube. Mm, well that's an idea. Or from Twitch, I'm sorry. Yeah, from Twitch. That's an idea. Maybe I should do the same thing. I mean, I'm already affiliated as well in Twitch, and you know, I lost the multi-stream capability. Um, but you know, that's a pretty yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, to just to grow the brand and you know to get uh, to get known. I think uh, I think I'll follow suit. Or <laughs> again, you're inspiring me to do stuff, you know. And it's it's already. Been a while. <laughs> oh, I want to. Sorry, we got some star senders here. 
Oh my god. Japanese dude. I don't know your name. I can't read your name. You're a Japanese dude. You sent 100 stars. So thank you very much. We also had somebody who sent 75 stars earlier. Sorry, you were speaking, so I didn't want to interrupt you. So thank you very much, guys, for sending those stars. Those help us out a lot, our, us content creators, you know. Um, uh, and we appreciate you. We appreciate you so much. Uh, again, there are some questions here which I, you know, uh, Bulldog is a community manager, but uh, there are some things that he can't divulge, so. I'm not sure if I can ask some of these questions, but well, here's one. When will this? When will there be? Uh, I guess I'm not sure how to pronounce phrases. When will the start of the separation between wild cards and modern cards in battle? Do you have an idea? I guess of when there will be uh, wild and modern, or was there? So, any? and and feel free feel free to ask whatever you want. If it's something that I that I can't answer, I'll just. I'll just let you know. Like, you know I okay, honestly mm -hmm. don't have. I don't have a ton. I don't have. I don't get very much inside info at, at all, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they'll come and and ask me like, okay, what would the community think of this, or what would the community reaction be? And in that case, I'll get a, a little bit of of inside info. Um, but in in general, I'm not involved in the actual development process, right. so I'm not I'm not on a need to know uh, <laughs> basis. I usually find out just like a day ahead of time when it's preparing me. Okay, you be be ready to be on Discord because we're gonna make this announcement. There's gonna be a there, there's gonna be a bunch of activity, so I get a little bit of heads up, but not much. But um, in the in the last AMA, they they did say that they were thinking they would get it in for quarter one. So Ooh. Q1 means. This, yeah, I guess Anytime Q1 now. ends in right. March. March, right around so March. So right. it sounded like they weren't 100% sure, but they still thought it would happen. So that, that makes me think, like, in the March would, would kind of be what they were looking at. So not, not like, immediately, but it shouldn't be too much longer. What's your strategy getting into it? I mean, you personally. Are you going to be more in... Uh, in I know you probably have almost all of the cards now. You're trying to get all of the cards, but... Are you more into the wild format? You think you'll be better in modern? What's what's your take, personally? I mean, I I'll probably be better in modern just because I or sorry, better in wild just because I do I'm I'm missing a lot of cards. Like I I'm not one of the original players that have mat, full max out decks or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm still missing a lot, but compared to a lot, there's gonna be a lot of people that are like just using chaos for example in, True. in modern True. um and i'll certainly i certainly have enough cards that i have a pretty huge advantage over them mm -hmm. so so that'll help in in wild but the but the nice thing is that it, at least last we knew you weren't going to have to decide whether it was modern or wild they will have separate uh separate rates energy rates Okay. So you can you can play in in both. So you can you can take your shot in in wild even if you just have chaos cards. Right. Uh, right. Not necessarily gonna make it very far, but you can you can still go over there and play around and see what you can do. Okay. Um, your thoughts on big partnerships announced by the team? This was from Vince Magallanes. Do you have any uh, anything to say about the partnerships being done by Splinterlands? Oh yeah, so I mean, I'm. It's super exciting just to just to see all of these because I know how, I know how hard it is to for any sort of NFT company to get these partnerships mm -hmm. because there is such a negative, negative right. look on on NFT. Like, <laughs> okay, one of the things, one of the things I'm trying to do right now is mm -hmm. start up a a gathering in in my local area in, in Indianapolis mm -hmm. where we get get together whether it's once a week or a couple of times a month. And have like some offline tournaments and and get-togethers and things like that. And I I have really struggled just to find somebody who some place who will even give me a spot to have those. Like I've really? been going into like some of the like your your gaming shops because uh -huh. I mean there's there's probably thirty gaming shops in in Indy. Mm -hmm. And I think I did finally find one. So I think that was will start happening in in April, which is going to be cool. Sorry, but wait, wait, sorry I, when you mean gaming shops, sorry to interrupt, Bulldog, but when you say gaming shop, what is that? I mean, down here we have what we call internet cafes. So I'm not sure if you guys have it up there because not everybody has their own Hawaii, home Wi-Fi. So is this the same um, gaming shop or is there is it something else? So the the place I found is actually kind of kind of like that. It's a um, it's a gaming lounge where you you go in and you pay like an hourly fee and you can pay you can play PC games or Xbox go. games or whatever. Mm. Um, but no, a lot of it is they 
the the more traditional gaming shops here sell like your board games and tabletop games and oh, Magic the Gathering Magic cards, their the card gathering. shop. Right, the card shops. And, okay. and then they also have a gaming room where people can come in and, I mean, you can play, you, you can have your tabletop events and play games. Most of them do Magic the Gathering tournaments like on, on the weekends and things like that. And they they would not even let me host a tournament there. Um, like we were talking about, okay, we'll 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 have like free pack giveaways, and we'll bring in pizza for everybody to try and attract attention to your business and things like that. And when they learned it was an NFT game, they're like, no, we want we want nothing to do with it. Ooh. They're too afraid of either either they personally hate them themselves, or they're too afraid that of of the. Uh, of all of basically their their customers but, but, looking at them oh you're supporting an nft game really? we're canceling you but we because are, you are gonna pay them right i mean this isn't like a charity thing right i mean okay they right i i, I mean there's yeah i mean but they they had no interest in our in our business whatsoever mm. um because and i think it's very different here like in in the US people legitimately hate NFTs. Like I tell people that I'm working for an NFT company and they look at me like I, <laughs> I mean plague, I could have said I could have said I just became a professional hitman and <laughs> they'd probably approve of it more. <laughs> like they think NFTs are the absolute devil and are what's killing the environment mm -hmm. and are pyramid schemes and, and there's so much negative publicity around them here that it's very hard to get get sponsors or to, to find partnerships like this. Mm -hmm. um, so finding any sort of big name thing like this is is pretty cool. The the Waka card, I, I mean, I love what they're they're doing with it. The, the card itself looks awesome. Being able to generate money for Splinterlands to, to be able to spend on other things is, is really cool. I'm honestly not sure how much, how many people Waka himself is going to get into the game. Uh, I'd be very interested to see the numbers there and see how much it actually helps. Um, but even just getting the card itself, I think, is is a huge win and is really yeah, cool. Right. I mean, I'll be honest. And I, I did, don't, didn't even know about Waka. I'll be I was super honest. I, <laughs> I didn't even, I haven't even I, heard of the guy. Really. I'd heard of him, but I like I couldn't have told you a single one of his songs. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah, I'd heard of him as he he definitely was a, was a big name, but. Um, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't necessarily my type of music. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, but the the part or the the music partnership mm -hmm. with with Warner is the one that is yeah. absolutely huge. Yeah, that, that is, is huge. so big, and and that's gonna. I know some people are kind of like, okay, what does this do for the actual Splinterlands game? This is a this is a new game. And hopefully there's some there's some crossover between crossover, the two, and there's yeah. some direct benefits. But even even if there's not, just Splinterlands having this partnership with a major label like that gives them so much credibility in helping with other marketing and in pushing the game. Um, when when you're trying to sell things, it's okay. We we also make games for for Warner mu music. music, and that's <laughs> that's something. Okay, people know that. Like that, that's a big deal. Yeah. If Warner's willing to sign on with you, then then you must be legit. Right. Um, and this, like I said, people associate NFTs with scams. So having a big time <laughs> partnership like that is so, so big. Right. Now, I have a follow up question. To that, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, I would just want to acknowledge a slim uh, said something here. It's like a hobby shop here in the Philippines. The places we used to hang out wolf. Yeah, I know because I used to be a Magic the Gathering player. So, you know, I'm always in these hobby stores. So I guess I got I got what you're saying, but I guess it's a hobby store, but uh, you can also rent, um, you know, Xbox games or, or uh, PlayStation or whatever. So it's like a one-stop shop. I guess I understand that. Uh, um, Joey has a question. Any idea when will DEC and SPS be listed in Binance platform? I'm not sure if this is something you've researched about, Bulldog, but maybe you can have, you can have, have an answer to that. No, I, I don't have any information, <laughs> any information there. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't know if they will ever really push for a DEC listing. SPS is the one that they'll That's that they'll true. really want. The SPS, the government. Um, D, yeah, and that can, that that'll definitely be be the big one. DEC is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what they do with DEC mm -hmm. because right now DEC is has utility because it generates SPS. 
And obviously that will end come, what is it, July when the airdrop ends? Um, so they've got a complete overhaul plan for that. And I, I'm very, very curious to see what they, what they do there because I don't like the way DEC is currently set up. Um, the whole association with SPS base basically kind of ruined it. Originally, it was just supposed to be, it was almost supposed to be like a Splinterland stable coin in a way, yeah. where it's supposed to be pegged pegged to a dollar. True. And yeah. then everything changed with when SPS got here, so it's going to need completely redone. And it sounds like Matt has some super exciting ideas for it. So yep. I, I unfortunately don't know what any of those ideas are, <laughs> but mm. I know I know when Matt gets excited about uh, about something that it, it's going to be good. Right. And these guys are trying to get a sneak peek into. I mean, uh, you know, but but Bulldog can answer so much, guys. But he's willing to do that for you. Oh, here's one. Uh, Bulldog, do you watch anime? So <laughs> I I do not. Really? So uh, care to comment on that? Do you like the the Western cartoons more, or no cartoons at all, or what? <laughs> well, I I don't really watch. Well, you don't my, watch TV. Uh, to to be honest, I I don't really. Um, <laughs> there we go. I don't watch many cartoons by my own choice now i have a four and six year old at home nah. so i watch a lot of car <laughs> cartoons via them so uh, am i right to say that you are my fellow disney dad then you probably oh yeah well oh, my god right. and so my wife my wife is a huge disney nut she she's actually a disney travel agent we got married in disney world if that shows oh, how wow how into disney she is <laughs> So, so yeah, Disney is big in this family. And then, and I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars and Marvel fan. Right. So right. once Disney acquired those, then I became a huge Disney fan true, as well true. because, because of Star Wars and exactly. Marvel. Exactly. I mean, uh, me talk. I mean, when I was growing up, you know, in high school, I was a very big comic book nerd and uh, <laughs> comic book geek and everything. So every, um. You know, when people look at me, oh my God, he's talking about comics again. And now that the MCU is out, and you know the co you know the superheroes are the, the the next thing, I'm like, look, I'm your god now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right? I I know. I wish it was. I wish it was like that when I was when, in yeah when, when we I was in high up. school because I I was very awkward in high school because I was like. I was I was kind of part nerd and part jock. Like I played three sports in high school. Ooh. I was I was an athlete. Can you name them? But I was what, what sport? Are so I play I play basketball, baseball, and tennis. Basketball, baseball, and tennis. Oh, wow. So, but then I like, as far as interest beyond that, I was in I was into the video games, the the comic books. Um, What's your favorite? Uh, all those types of things. Who's your and, favorite hero then? Back, back in, uh, kind of, back when I was in high school, the the nerds and the jocks were kind of they they kind of clashed like those didn't go together, <laughs> so it was it was very awkward for for me. So high school was kind of awkward there. But uh, my sorry, we were saying my favorite yeah favorite, favorite superhero. superhero all right or comic book character or whatever. Um, my I, I have to say say Daredevil. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit of sur sur surprising. So why Daredevil? I I don't really know. To to be honest, I don't know if it's just some of the writers that have that have uh, done Daredevil. I just kind of like some of his some of his stories better. They've kind of captured me. I I don't know what it is that necessarily appeals to me. Out of all the heroes, right? I mean, no, I, um, I he's not he's no slouch. Okay, but you know. Normally, people would pick some of the big ones, like you know, Iron Man or Spider Man or whatever. But Daredevil, wow, okay. So, and he got teased in the latest. Uh, of, wait, which he's not teased. He was there. <laughs> he was part of the <laughs> cast, man. He's like he's the best lawyer. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like, I'm hoping he's coming over to the MCU now because that that Netflix series was there, amazing. Right, right, man. Like I. I'll be super honest, and I'm probably gonna get flack for this one. I like all of them, man. I like even like Iron Fist. I even, uh, I even, uh, yeah, I even like Iron Fist. I like Defenders. I like everything about the net. Punisher, man, all of these, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, all of these uh, series are actually pretty good for me. Only maybe because oh, yeah. I'm the big, I'm a big comic book fan, but I really didn't see how much flack why they're getting all of this hate and flack. I mean, maybe the writing, maybe the whatever, or maybe there's blinders in my head because. Uh, I'm a comic book character. What about you? 
What did you think about? No, I I loved the the Netflix series, and I was kind of disappointed that those all got kind of got canceled Max. as they did the Disney yeah. Plus. But it kind of had it kind of had a darker side than than a lot of True. the the normal Marvel mm-hmm. series or, or movies, and and I kind of like that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. Let's 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 take things a little back into Splinterlands because we got uh, <laughs> we got because you know when you talked about Disney, we got a lot of similarities. My my wife is a, a Disney ambassadress, so she cosplays as Cinderella, and uh, Tinkerbell and such like that. So, and b- before that, I mean, you know, I was I was a Disney fan myself even before my kids uh, uh, my kids were born. So, I know every well not every single one, but I probably know how to sing most of the songs, even the girl songs, you know. It's it's been part of my repertoire. Oh, okay. Anyway, again, we're we're off topic. Uh, Nika May Robelis, um, Sir Bulldog. When did you start playing Splinterlands? I think he answered that earlier. Uh, Nika May he played around May 2021, so it's a few months uh, earlier than me. Um, John Carlo, you already answered about anime. He didn't. He doesn't really watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and John Ray says raffle free delegation. Okay, guys, um, about that, uh, I'm a bulldog has a. You, you did say that you have a delegation power raffle going on, right? Is this a constant thing or, or a weekly thing not, or an EOS thing? Not, not something I typically do. Uh, just with Walk of Spirit Blade right now. Um, mm-hmm. I think there's there's one on my Twitter that's actually active. I, I've just been doing it for for 24 hours to let people try out the new card. Wow. Um, delegating Waka for 24 hours, and then I'll then I've pulled it back and had another one to to send it to another winner. So mm. any chance that the... I can try that? <laughs> We're gonna, we'll <laughs> probably join the raffle. We'll join the raffle. What's your most expensive card? I think you probably answered that already. Or do you have something more expensive than Waka? Well, I mean, so. I've got I've got a Max Kitty, which would be more expensive. Mm, yeah, how much is Max Kitty? Let's see. Um, no, I'm, I don't think there's a way to sort your own cards by price, is there? Yeah, but but we can at least check the marketplace and see how how much Kitty is. Oh no, I, I was hoping I could sort my own by by price. Oh. I've got a I've got a Max Alpha Lord of Darkness. Uh, I don't know how much that one is. A Max Alpha Lord of Darkness. Oh my God, guys. There isn't even a kitty here in the marketplace. There's oh, there's one, five thousand dollars. Okay, just you know, just five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, let's uh, let's go to. Uh, I want to see Lord of Darkness. I want to see Lord of Darkness. So there, here it is. Here's an Alpha Lord of Darkness. Oh, this is a beta one. I want to see the Alpha one. Here's an Alpha one. So a max one. Oh, it's a, I guess a little more cheaper. It's around one thousand seven, one thousand eight hundred dollars for the most. So Waka beat him, I guess. So Kitty will probably be your your most expensive one. Yeah, I would say because I don't have I don't have Wama or Yoden maxed out yet. Oh, is that a plan? I mean, uh... <laughs> yes, I've got eight BCX of Yoden. I have seven of of Jeez. Wama. Oh wow. Okay. I was I've been trying to save up to them and I keep getting distracted. I can't save up that much money. <laughs> I, it's I, like I, I I can understand, right. <laughs> okay, um people are asking for delegation. Guys, 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 go to his channel and and you know, watch you know, watch his streams and go to his content and then you can get to win uh, for his raffles, okay? So don't worry about that. He's a very generous dude. I'm always looking at uh, of his videos, and he does give stuff away. So do that, okay? Um, a Slim, are you open for other projects? I would like to discuss it with you after, okay? So I guess that's a private thing. But uh, I guess that's a good question. Are you open for other projects? I mean, not just yeah. Playlands? Mm-hmm. Yeah, abs- absolutely. I'm I'm partnered with, with several other things. There's actually two videos that I've already done for, for other projects that will be, be coming out uh, in the next few weeks or so, those have scheduled times to to release. So yeah, I'm I'm always doing different videos with different projects and and other things there. Um, I was playing Fate and Arena for a while as like my hey, second main Fate game. Arena. Okay. And then I've been unhappy with with them, and there's oh. a whole behind the scenes stories there. But we don't necessarily yeah, we don't need, need to get, to get into. Don't and, worry about that. And the, it just happens. Um, <laughs> unless. Uh, 
uh, that's not Splinterlands related, but uh, but yeah, so I'm not playing Thetan Arena anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've got uh, I need to find some more games to play. Cool. I guess uh, Ace then will probably reach out to you for a few things that you'd uh, you might be interested in. So Ace, you can go ahead and DM him if you'd like. Um, uh, don't worry, Bulldog, I know we're keeping you, but if you can stay in for a few more minutes, we do have a giveaway coming up. Guys, you do see these 10 packs? We're going to give these away in celebration of uh, Bulldog being a guest here in my stream. So if you guys want to win these Chaos Legion packs, all you have to do is make sure you follow and share. And we'll have Bulldog... Uh, <laughs> okay, I saw this earlier in the stream, Bulldog, but do you know any Filipino words? No, I do not. Really? Okay. So, guys, what... <laughs> I, I, I'm a dumb American. All I no, know is don't English. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, wait. A little, bit of Sp a little bit of the Spanish from high school, but, you, mm -hmm. but yeah, don't test me on that. Don't worry, because, uh, you know, they had a little bit of fun with Luke here when, when, we, when he said... But he knows a little bit of uh, Filip some Filipino words, like uh, Kamusta. Um, <laughs> Janelle, no, please. C can you... Don't say that comment, all right. So, Bulldog, can you say mahal ko kayo? That means I love you guys, okay? Oh I'm not going to make you say any curse words, Bulldog. Don't worry. I, I got you here, right? So, can you say mahal ko kayo? Mahal ko kayo. There you go, guys. This is Bulldog's first <laughs> Filipino <laughs> phrase. And he did say, I love you guys. So, please do check his uh, YouTube channel out. Check his uh, Twitch uh, stream out. And check his Facebook uh, channel out as well. All right. So, Bulldog, I hope this is All not right. the last time that you'll be uh, getting to with us. I mean, uh, maybe there will be future uh, future uh, collaborations between us. Oh, and for I forgot. Um, Bulldog is also part of our stream team, right, Bulldog? Actually, that's how we got yeah. to get to know each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm 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 working with the stream team. I don't know if I'll personally be on um, Splinterlands TV or not, or how that will work. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, I'm trying to go around to to all the different channels or i i guess i don't think i'll get to literally all there's there's quite a few people yeah um yeah. but uh but yeah trying to trying to help uh, promote it because it's going to be pretty cool having a channel that's just Splinterlands basically 24 <laughs> 7 and uh and yeah i can't wait to can't wait to get that off the ground and, and going that's going to be exciting cool all right, so they're saying I love you back here. So I guess we got a lot of uh, bulldog, new bulldog fans here on the stream. So uh, we'll be seeing you in the on right. the uh, bulldog, uh, bulldog videos. All right, <laughs> bulldog. There hey, is I've... one. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, I cut you off. Oh no, go 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 ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say something about if you were gonna mention about squirrel because uh, that comes up a lot uh. on your on your uh, <laughs> on your videos. Can you tell us a little more about that? Darth Squirrel, yeah. So that is, I, I tend to, I, I tend to have a, a short attention span and jump from from topic to topic. Usually before I've even finished finished a sentence, sometimes, uh, and <laughs> that's, I, I get a lot of complaints about it, to be honest. But Complete? that's just kind of Come that's on. just kind of how I am. I, uh, I I jump around a little bit, <laughs> and so so yeah. If uh, I don't know. You mentioned that you like Disney movies. So have mm -hmm. you seen have you seen the movie Up? Yeah, I have, of course. So so that's kind of the the whole dog squirrel thing. Right. Like, squirrel. Uh, right. What, <laughs> what's the well, what's the what's the dog's name in Up? I'm I not forgetting. I think it's Dog. <laughs> right. Doug. 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 Yes. There you go. Doug. Right. Um. Yeah. Doug and getting distracted by the squirrel. Right, so talking. it's that type of thing. The, <laughs> The bulldog getting distracted by the There by the you squirrel. go. There's the connection. The bulldog getting a squirrel. And then they're talking to keep talking to squirrel. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So, and yeah. So, and, and again, I, I was originally streaming a, a Star Wars game. So, mm -hmm. we had Darth. to theme the squirrel yeah, Star Darth Wars. Squirrel. So, we turned, the, we turned the squirrel into a Sith. Um, so, yeah. That's where that's where Darth Squirrel comes from. Wait, okay. So, I mean, there was a plan for you to create that card, right? I mean, what happened? So, uh, yeah. So... The top six pack purchasers mm -hmm. uh, for in the pre-sale for Chaos Legion get to design their own legendary summoners. Those are the the, the rules, basically yeah. the airdrops that are coming up that we're all Ooh. so excited about to see oh. what their their stats are and everything. <laughs> right. So if I was one of the top six, we were going to turn Darth Squirrel into Ooh. one of the Splinterlands characters, which would have been awesome. Uh, but once I saw voucher, like we were, we were starting a pool and everything. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we had, I, there was about a hundred thousand dollars worth of, 
worth of uh, people committed to the pool. Mm -hmm. um, but once we saw what voucher prices were, I wasn't buying in at that price. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just thought, I thought the pre-sale was a terrible deal for people. So mm -hmm. I essentially canceled the pool. I said, I, I'm not, I'm not going to, I, I, part of how I was originally pushing it too, was thinking that we, as a, as a group, we could get a, a better discount if we were buying the, I can't remember how many packs you need to get to buy to get the max discounts or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but that way we could get everybody the max discounts and then things like that. And when I saw what the pre-sale prices were, I was like, this is, this is not going to no. be worth it for people. It's not going to be a good deal. So, so I canceled it and I didn't, I didn't go with it. Um, we didn't have any sort of pool at all. Mm. So, so no Darth Squirrel. Okay. Well, maybe in the future. I mean, it's too early to tell, right? So maybe, maybe, uh, I can save up some of that land revenue and, and for the next, uh, there for you the go. next set, <laughs> we can, we can, we can go all in with it. But, uh. Uh, yeah, it's uh, we'll see how things we'll see how things shake out. Yeah, can't wait for that. I mean, I know you got uh, you got a lot of play. I mean, we're gonna see a lot more of Bulldog. So, um, that was a you know that the thing you mentioned earlier that was a pretty cool move, man. I mean, you actually went in and made a new Twitch account, which does not have affiliate, so you don't have any uh tips or or bits or whatever, just so you can get the Splinterlands brand. Um, you know, having quality content that says a lot, man, about your commitment on you know providing Splinterlands videos to to us to to us people. That's that's pretty good, man. I mean, I kind of I'm a little bit speechless about uh, that move that you made there, and uh, yeah, I want to thank you for that. You're you're always thinking about. It's not just about you know, you mentioned it yourself. It's not just about the tips and you know getting the the uh, the finances up. It's really just bringing the message across. Even if you don't get paid for it, wow! I I can't. I'm well, speechless. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's a little bit easier to do when I've got Sweaterlands paying me a salary, so I don't have to. Okay. I, I don't have to okay. worry about that. So, okay. Well, so to, to be, be fair, fair Sweaterlands yeah. is uh, um, Sweaterlands is, is making that easy on me. Right. Uh, I understand. <laughs> okay. So um, we are nearing the end of the stream. We're just gonna be doing a little more, a few more giveaways. But Bulldog, I'd like to have the last say, or do you have any? Maybe you have questions for us. I mean, have you ever, I mean, I, I know you have Filipino fans, but have you ever actually had something like this where you're faced with a Filipino community, people watching your streams, and uh, maybe you have questions for us or or something that we'd like to ask the audience? Or, or maybe you, is there is uh, some content that you'd like to ask them what they want or whatever? Because Luke had something similar, but maybe you have uh, something else to say to us. Oh, I don't. I don't think I necessarily have anything specific other than mm -hmm. than just saying saying thank you guys because you. I I don't have the numbers in front of me, but about I think it's about forty percent of my YouTube views come from the <laughs> Philippines. There you go. So <laughs> you guys are, are absolutely awesome and are. I mean, I I wouldn't be having this level of success with uh, without your community. So so I really appreciate it, and uh, and you guys have been awesome. Right. You know, Filipinos. Uh, we can be, uh, you know, we can uh, we can support people. We can also cancel people, but we definitely <laughs> trust. I mean, forty percent says a lot, right? And we don't just put our name, I guess, on any other just uh, a streamer. I mean, I'm I'm proud of my measly six thousand followers here on right. Facebook, uh, but uh, you know, we, they can definitely go to another uh, content creator or whatever. But to say that you know they've always been with you as well, I, I watch your streams, I watch your videos. Uh, people here watch your videos, so we'd like to thank you. I mean, from the bottom of our hearts, uh, we'd like to thank you for for doing. And hope you continue. And good luck being, uh, you know, our community manager. So, are you okay to sp uh, to stay a few more minutes while we give these packs away? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right, so guys, we're gonna do uh, the giveaway. Okay, but sorry, Bulldog. I, again, I want to give you the floor in case there is something else that you'd like to, uh, um, I guess, an outro or whatever to say to your Filipino uh, to your Filipino fans. Oh no! I can, like I said, I don't have don't have anything specific other other than just thanks. Just thanks. I, I appreciate you guys so much. There we go. Okay, Bulldog, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for uh, for gracing our stream. He's gonna be helping us as we give away these ten packs, guys. These are ten Chaos Legion packs, and you know, oh, there is one word that we want you to say because this is how we uh, this is the word that we say right. when we open packs. We call it talpakan na. That's what we say. So can you say it? <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Try it. Say, say, that, say that again. Give it to me one more yeah, time. Yeah, it's called Talpakan Na. It's two words, actually. <laughs> Talpakan Na. There you go. There is it. <laughs> there's, the, there's the signal, guys. <laughs> so, you know, it's time to open packs. But I'm not going to open these packs. These packs are yours. So you're going to be opening these packs. A lot of you can, you can clip that, guys, now. You can clip because we had Bulldog say Talpakan Na. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, your, it's your cue to open these packs that you're going to be uh, getting from me, from, uh, from us, from me and Bulldog. So we're going to do the usual Facebook picker. So again, guys, this is how it's going to work. Um, as usual, we need your follower and sharer badge. So if you don't have that up, make sure you have your badges are complete. All right. Uh, we have the supporters from Wolf's Den, of course, and uh, Wolf's Den supporters. If you win a pack, you also get a free gold card from me. And if you are a supporter, right? So if you have your follower share badge, that's cool. You get a pack. But if you win and you also have a supporter badge, you get an extra gold foil card from me. All right. Are you guys hey, ready? Hey, come on, come on. There we go. Make sure you guys have your uh, follower and share badges up. We're going to have Facebook picker up in a bit right now. And, of course, you know what our keyword is going to be. You know it. We're going to go notify bulldog. <laughs> Exclamation point notify bulldog. Guys, exclamation point, notify Bulldog. Come on, I'm seeing the, no right. seeing the notifies. Make sure you have the Bulldog word on it. We're going to try, okay? Sometimes Facebook has this uh, weird bug where it does not recognize the other name. I mean the other word, but hopefully this will work. So guys, we, we have... Uh, all right, we got a lot more All people right. in the stream already. We're going to give you guys one minute more while I do that. We're going to give away 10 Chaos Legion packs. And Bulldog, if it's okay with you, if you can read off the names that we're going to be picking. I, I can absolutely read All them right. off. There and we go. As long as anybody who, who's watched my stream knows that I cannot pronounce anything. <laughs> so I, I will. Th there's a good chance I will butcher your name. That's but cool. But I will give it a shot. That's cool. Butcher away. That All butcher right. away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. We're going to be getting the comments now. We're hoping to get a good number. Okay, so okay, so Facebook is being uh, being annoying again. <laughs> it's not picking up the second name. So All we're going right. to have to erase the bulldog. Let's just go with exclamation point notify. I'm sorry about that, guys. This is Facebook. So I just do exclamation point notify, and we should be good to go. All right, I'm getting the comments. There we go. We got 29 commenters now. So Facebook is putting it, uh, I guess, making it easier for us. Make sure you have your badges ready and you've liked the stream as well. Okay, wow. All the right. chat is exploding. We got 10 packs to give away, Bulldog. Or do you want us to open a few? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's that's whatever whatever you guys want. I'm, I'm sure chat would much rather have you give them away. True. Okay, but <laughs> you'll be surprised, uh, Bulldog. There has been... A few streams where the chat actually refused for me to give away the packs. They wanted me to open it on the stream. Hey, that's, that's how we cool. Filipinos are, right? That's how we Filipinos are. I, I was about to cancel my name and call it Gambler's All Den right. instead, instead of Wolf's Den, because people just wanted to watch uh, us open packs. So, okay. Well, anyway. Pack opening is there so much fun. Right. That's the. That's actually that's the worst thing about having a maxed out chaos deck is I have no I have no reason to open up chaos packs <laughs> anymore. <laughs> true, true. All right. Well, Louis, the bulldog is Splinterlands. Uh, Louis actually the bulldog is one of the biggest Splinterlands streamers. What are you talking about, Louis? Louis is our friend Liam Dale TV, uh, also a streamer. All right, let's do this. We got forty six commenters now. Make sure you have your follower share badge and supporters, Wolf's Den supporters, you get extra prizes if you are picked. So for those who want to be a Wolf's Den supporter, I also want to uh, inform you guys that tomorrow will be our supporter only end of the month raffle. Tomorrow will be our supporter only end of the month raffle for, uh, for Wolf's Den. And uh, we will be giving away, where is our grand prize here? Uh, yeah, wait, I'm looking for the poster just so that you guys have a, a view of it. And I haven't really posted it on my channel as well. Sorry about that, guys. Here it is. Um, uh, here is it. Okay. 
Here you go, guys. So for tomorrow, our grand prize is a Quix the Devious. This is the Quix the Devious, so the grand prize, um, of course, will be given away by a raffle. Uh, secondary prizes will be Chaos Legion packs, and then gold foil cards will be the consolation prizes. So if you're not yet a supporter, please uh, do subscribe. It helps us a lot, and it will help you as well. So here we go. Let's give away those packs now. As you can see, Bulldog, I'm kind of like a dog myself. But, well, I'm a wolf, so I kind of jump from a topic to topic as well. So you're, uh, we're in a similar company. Okay, we're going to pick the first winner now. Make sure you have your follower share badges, guys. Here we go. Okay, Bulldog, can you read that out? Or it's not yet with you, so I think I'd better share my screen on the Discord as well. Okay. Bulldog, can you see the name? Oh, uh, let's see. I'm loading the screen. Oh, there we go. N Nika Bay Robellas? Nika Bay Robellas? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, Nika May. Okay, I'm going to list down the name here. And don't worry, we'll send your... All right! Le Nika May, can you please uh, say hi in the comments just to make sure we have the right badges? Nika May, are you there? I don't see you, Nika. Come on. But I saw you earlier. All right! Just want to make sure you're still here again. There you go. Her IGN is Nika May, so we're gonna be we're gonna give you a pack a little later. Excellent. So we gotta we gotta speed things up, you know. We're we're keeping Bulldog from his breakfast. <laughs> so let's let's uh speed in this up. Uh, what do you eat for don't breakfast? Worry, don't worry about me, but no, I'll, I'll be going I'll probably be going back to bed to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll have him have his beauty sleep. He still has a uh, few uh -huh. spinner lens stuff to uh, to do later. Well, he's probably going to be a rest day, but tomorrow you can catch him because he's going to be uh, he's also going to be doing a video tomorrow. Correct? Was that tomorrow, right? Monday? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, so Monday. Um, yeah. Why don't you go plug some stuff? Monday through Thursday is when I stream. So the streams. So Monday and Wednesday are probably the streams that would be be best um, in the Philippines because I stream at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time on those days. So that'd be what 9 a.m. your probably time? Around 9 a.m. Yeah. So in the so some morning streams for for you guys. My other streams are at 2 p.m. Eastern, which is middle of the night over there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm I'm also going to be starting up some some more tournaments, doing some chaos only, like lower like silver league tournaments Ooh, and stuff. Cool. Um, so just running. I, I I'm still deciding exactly how I'm going to get those set up. I'm hoping I'll have those set up and have a post out today, mm -hmm. which probably means it'll be like Monday or Tuesday if we're being honest. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Uh, but but yeah, so I was trying to get some more tournaments up where we'll have a hundred percent of the prizes going back into the the prize pool, and in some ways there, I'm not gonna try and profit off of it or anything. But just I got I got whitelisted, so I can now create tournaments for free, so we don't have to worry about the tournament taking out a cut for creating the tournament. Mm. Um, but we can we can hopefully have some some tournaments there that are more uh, more new player and, and lower league friendly. Cool. Um, is there any Zen Sports uh, hosting duties uh, coming re uh, in the future, or that's all done? There, there will be in the future. It hasn't quite been announced. I know they they've right. talked about how they're having the Zen Sports like whole series. It's going to be a yearly series with mm. like a was it like a fifty thousand dollar prize or something at the end of the year. Damn! Wow. Um, I will be. I will have a role in that whenever whenever it gets here. So. I thought that was actually supposed to be here already, but things things have been getting delayed so much. True. <laughs> actually, um, we, we know. <laughs> Even the so, same team. <laughs> so, so, yeah, the, whenever that gets here, I'll, I'll play a role in that. Cool. Um, and if you but, need uh, the... That, that's... Yeah, sorry. I was saying that if you need the, you know, if you need the, a co-host or whatever, and it's not like, you know, I can't do what you did waking <laughs> up 5 a.m. just to uh, for, for the stream. Like you're a hero, but I can't do the same. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I know. I would. I would never <laughs> expect you to. Right, but yeah, but when I'm okay, you know, when when it's when the when the timing is good, you you were cooking up something, right? And I I said yes to it, so maybe I don't. I'm not gonna announce it yet because I think it's something that you're still uh, finalizing. You know that game that you think you were gonna come up with? 
Oh. oh yeah, well, so I mean, we're trying to do more some some community game nights, which I we had some audio problems with the last one. I'm trying to do a lot of editing on on that to get it to to work. Mm -hmm. But uh, things like Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I think I think it'd be cool to do a uh, Hollywood Squares if you've ever seen that. Yes, Hollywood. Where Squares. we have like nine content creators and then have two members from the community who are who are playing with the with the content creators. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um so I, I don't know what exactly will happen but there are some ideas there that uh, hopefully will progress cool count me in right as long as the timing is okay then you know we or we can announce it uh i mean if it's planned out uh, in a future time i'm sure i would be able to uh, cut up the schedule so i can get to it count me in man i mean i owe you one for uh for guessing here in my stream <laughs> so thank you again bulldog let's let's move on oh, yeah, to the no second problem. it's fun right it is it has been fun and we got a lot more people actually in right now we got 54 viewers thank you again for tuning in to wolf stand this is damien wolf with our special guest right now bulldog 1205 one of the biggest names in splinter lands in youtube and right now also being active in twitch and facebook as well please do check his uh his links up we have it on my caption and he's also posted his Twitch link here as well. Okay, let's do this. Second winner. Bulldog, you're going to have to read the second winner's name. Right. And here we All go. Right. Oh, my God. This is a we long one. Have, <laughs> we have Justin Dave Aroman P Pimento. There you go. He got it. Winner. <laughs> he got it. Justin Dave Aroman Pimento. I probably would not have had read it better myself <laughs> are you on the stream justin are you here congratulations you won a pack but only if you're here you have to be on the stream what's that just because you need to tell me your ign so i can send the pack a little later and i also need to check if you are a subscriber or a supporter so you win an extra prize if you are a wolf den supporter guys if you're not yet a wolf den supporter please check it out I do give a lot of perks for being support a supporter. In all of my events, you usually have a special prize if you are a supporter. Congratulations. There you go. Justin Dave. That's his uh, IGN. We got that. Are you guys having a hoot? Having Bulldog read off your names? <laughs> it's like, Bulldog, say my name. <laughs> okay. Hey, I, like I usually say, if... Uh, hope Hopefully, most people don't get offended when I mispronounce their name if, if it's because no, I'm giving away giving no. them away something <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know butcher away we we like that I mean we no it's not that we don't we like that it's just fun you know for us to have um, uh, for us to have guests in the stream I normally talk by myself but you know I I put up I, I, mean, I did a Valentine's event you know where I had da a dating game I usually come up with all of these little creative whatever uh just to get stuff going here for splinter Lance and create more hype for our community and uh, this interview series that i've done this is the third actually i've already interviewed furious chicken he's my first and we had luke second and now you're our third uh interview for the wolf interview series so but we're hoping that we can get to collaborate with you again in the future i mean you are operating at probably like i said 30 percent max right now because you know you We've caught you in the early in the morning, <laughs> but even this 30%, you know, a lot of our viewers are having fun having you with us. Thank you very much again, Bulldog. I haven't thanked you enough. <laughs> Good. Hey, not not a problem. It's uh, it's awesome being able to, to do this cool. Pre pretty much all the time, going going around and playing Splinterlands, talking Splinterlands mm -hmm. with the community, whatever it is. It's uh, it's one of the best jobs in the world. Cool. All right, here we go. Here's our third pack. And Bulldog All will right. read this name out. I hope it's not some Japanese or Korean name, though, so that we can... <laughs> or else... We'll now, now, if, we, <laughs> if we get that, I've got no shot. Yeah, we got we'll, we'll, we'll have you invent uh, a Korean word or whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we have our third winner now. Here we go. The, the third winner is Frank Amarante. Oh, he got that right. <laughs> Frank Amarante. And he was the one with a lot of questions... Uh, uh, for us last night. He was part of a stream uh, where I was part of last night as well. Frank Amarante, congratulations. Are you All on right. the stream right now? Frank. Frank Amarante. You can please reply with your IGN because we need you on the stream, man, because if you're not, we're going to have to do a reroll. Guys, if you see Frank commenting, please reply with his comments so we can... Uh, Hey, come on, come on! Get his IGN in. Frank. 
Man, you shared the name of a uh, Punisher, Frank Castle. Come on, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank. Okay, so I'm going to give a count off. And if Frank doesn't answer in five seconds, we're going to have to do a reroll. Or if you guys see his comment, let me know. I'm sure chat will be very disappointed that you have to re-roll that. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> they would want <laughs> to win that. <laughs> All right. I'm counting off now. Oh, there he is. There's Frank Amarante. He has a follower share badge. Cool. What is your IGN, man? So I can uh, I can set I can list it down. What is your Splinterlands IGN? So we can send you our pack. And look at the community actually replying with his comment. You know, so we can see it. Thank you very much, uh, chat. For helping us out, we call him the Wolf Fam. Wolf Fam, can you uh, bring out your Howl Out stickers so we can show Bulldog our one and only sticker? <laughs> if you're a Wolf Pack supporter, then you have that exclusive Howl Out sticker. There you see, you see it. Oh, Bulldog? I see it. Nice. Right. That's our exclusive Howl Out sticker. Only Wolf Pack supporters, Wolf Den supporters have that. Because it's our only sticker. <laughs> we don't have anything <laughs> else. <laughs> okay, so Frank says he does not play it. Yeah, because he was he's actually playing another uh, another game uh, last night. Okay, so Frank, um, I guess let's just uh, let's just talk so, about so it. So does does Frank want to play? Splinterlands? Yeah, maybe you want to play Spinnerlands, Frank. And Would Spinner I I I could give you a free spell book if you oh, want to play. Oh, Frank. Frank, <laughs> either say yes or no. Let us know now. Okay, so let me just... Mm -hmm. Free spellbook. Frank, do you want to play Spinnerlands? Because Bulldog is willing to give you... Oh, there you go. <laughs> he says, oh, yeah. So how can he, uh, how can he connect with you, uh, Bulldog? <laughs> I will. Um... Do you want me to, yeah, uh, to, to be the bridge or whatever? So <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just send I'll send you the the code on on Discord. There we you go. Can get it to him. Excellent. So Frank, I'll send you a code over so you can get your spell book, and you will you'll pro you, you well you won two prizes now because you now have a spell book courtesy of Bulldog. So please thank him. Right, it's not easy to get a free spell book, and then once you have your spell book, I'm gonna give you your Chaos Legion pack. So very cool, right? Frank, I think just discovered my stream last night, so <laughs> 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 now you're very lucky because you're now part of the wolf pack. And <laughs> okay, yeah, so Frank, perfect timing there. Perfect timing, excellent. Okay, let's move on, Frank. Very good, very good. Thanks, man. I love you. <laughs> we love you back. <laughs> All right, that's from Bulldog. You better take Bulldog, man, because uh, you know he he gave you that spell book. This this might change your life. You know, Spinderlands is a very cool game. This is why we're here. We're all streaming it. We're all playing it. So it might be something that you like in the future as well. All right. Let's do this. Let's get the fourth winner for the Chaos Legion pack. 53 unique comments now. And Bulldog, who is our next winner? Frank Amarante says, thank you, Bulldog. There we go. Our next winner is Christel Christo Francisco. There you go. <laughs> I thought you were going to mispronounce the name. <laughs> and I was going to... No, Christo, he, she, he pronounced it correctly. <laughs> there we go. Christo, I know you're here. I know you're here, Christo, because you said hi, Bulldog, earlier. So why don't you uh, tell us your IGN? So Christo, just recently, uh, just recently, he, she got actually... Uh, was involved in an incident where I think she got scammed. So Ooh. a lot of stuff happened after that, and I think she's very lucky. Some doors have opened because of that. So there you go. Christelle's here. She's got the follower share badge, and she's a top fan. Congratulations, Master Krishy. That's her uh, IGN. And you got a lot of girl gamers here down here in the Philippines, uh, Bulldog. I mean, have you encountered a lot of uh, girl gamers in Indiana as well? So I... G I guess I don't know as far as from from in, in Indiana. Splinterlands has definitely had a more diverse demographic than, yeah. than most games I was with. Like when I, when I was making Star Wars videos, um, I don't know how accurate the YouTube demographics are, mm -hmm. but it was showing it was showing that it was like ninety eight point five percent of my viewers were male, overwhelmingly <laughs> male. 
<laughs> and I I actually haven't I haven't looked with the Splinter Lands to be honest to see what YouTube says, but yeah. just from from interacting with people, it feels like there's a lot more females involved playing Splinter Lands than than any other yeah. game I've played before. And, and I can see it here in my chat as well. Um, you know, as I, uh, I I do have a lot of female viewers, and uh, of course these are female players of Splinter Lands. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty cool to see uh, a lot more, uh, like you said, diversity. Um, uh, in players, uh, n I mean, probably 20, tw 10, 20 years ago, you won't see the same thing, probably one out of 50 or whatever. So it's pretty cool to get a lot of these uh, female players. And of course, Crystal Francisco, thank you very much. Congratulations. We're going to move on to our fifth winner now for fifth packs. Guys, come on. Have some. Uh, <laughs> All right. The chat is exploding. OK, let's go ahead and get our fifth winner. So Bulldog can read off another unique name. <laughs> Hopefully something like Justin earlier. I feel like I haven't done too bad. <laughs> Congratulations, Jonathan Capistrano Anoyo. <laughs> he got that correct again. It's like, we're not waiting for you to fail, man. It's just, it's so cool <laughs> for you to read us. <laughs> Jonathan wins. Sorry, Jonathan, you there? I saw him earlier, and he also, he has a supporter badge. Congratulations. He's one of the Wolf Pack. So you win an extra gold foil card from me. So you win a Chaos Legion Pack and an extra gold foil card. Ask the 30, that's his IGN. Congratulations, Jonathan. Super awesome. Come on, uh, Justin, don't worry. There's five more. We already gave away five, but there's five more, so don't lose hope. Bulldog might be reading your name any moment now. Sixth winner coming up. Sheesh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Sixth winner is... And you can't win again, guys, so just, just want to say. All right, there All you go. All right, we have Kristen Rodejo Perez. <laughs> Kristen Rodejo Perez, you're the winner. Sixth winner. So g kindly uh, give us your <laughs> IGN, Kristen. These are new names, actually. I haven't seen this name in a bit. Rodejo. There you go. He's a top fan. Oh, he's he's 10K, 10, 10K. Okay, there you go. I know him. I know him now. Rodejo Paris. Whew. All right. Six winners now of Chaos Legion packs. Let's go to our seventh. Man, who knew that giving away Chaos Legion packs uh, can be so much fun if Bulldog is the one reading the names. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, we have Black Rose Yukina. I know this guy. As the next winner. Yeah, I know this guy, Black Rose. He's actually a supporter. Black Rose Yukina. Congratulations. I know your IGN. Don't worry, I'll hook you up later. Let's go to the next one. Congratulations, Black Rose. Yep, that's you. <laughs> Seventh winner now. We're we're coming on a little faster. Oh wait, four, five. What's this? Four, five, six, seven, eight winner. We're now going to our eighth winner. Getting the comments now. Bulldog. Winner number eight is Jigschai Mag Magduza. <laughs> I feel like I butchered that one. I don't think so. Um, you actually pronounced it a lot better than I would have. But Jigschai Magduza, not Magduza, Magduza. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Jigs. Magduza is a Filipino word, uh, which means, uh, I guess, go. How, I guess, how do you pronounce it? How do you say it? Go. Uh, Go and be punished, or, or uh, All right. th that's the Filipino word, Magdusa. So his, his name is Magdusa. So it's a good thing you pronounce it correctly, a lot more correctly than I would have. <laughs> to suffer, yeah, Amor got it, to suffer. All right, Jigs. Suffer, all right. What's your IGN, Jigs? So we can uh, list you down here. Jigs Chai, are you in the chat? There you go. Uh, no, that's not him. Jigs. Give me your IGN. 
I saw you earlier, Jigs. You gotta let us know you're here, cause we might have to do a reroll. There we go, Jigs twenty three. Jigs twenty three. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I haven't. Sorry, I listed. I haven't listed it down. Jigs twenty three. Jigs Chai Magduza. I read. I actually erased the name. And then Jigs23, that's his IGN. There you go. Okay. We got it. So far, we've only had two supporters win. And that's Jonathan and uh, Black Rose. Come on, Wolfpack. Come on, Wolfpack. What? How many packs are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two packs left. Here we go. <laughs> no, we're not going to have Bulldog read any more Filipino words. Cause <laughs> Here we go. Ninth pack. Let's just be happy with him reading our names. <laughs> Bulldog? John Carlo, John Carlo Mortera Ton. John Congratulations Carlo. on winning pack number nine. There you go. John Carlo. John Carlo, better give us your IGN. Congratulations, congratulations. What's your IGN? What's your IGN, Giancarlo? He's also a top fan. There you go. But Forla. But for, but Forla is his name. IGN. A pretty unique name, if I may say so myself. But Forla. Okay. Last one. Last one. You better say all your bulldog prayers and all your Facebook picker prayers right now. For you to get this last Chaos Legion pack. Facebook picker, let's go. All right, and the final winner is Mika <laughs> Coronado. Seriously? Mika wins? <laughs> Mika Coronado, congratulations. What is your IGN, Mika? So we can send your Chaos Legion pack. You better sound off, though. You have to be here on the stream or else the chat will <laughs> will go ahead and do the re-roll. Come on. Is she here? Is she not? There you go. Mika, she did say I love you Bulldog earlier. So <laughs> what is your IGN, Mika? So we can list you down here. I'm really surprised that I won first live of Wolf. Yeah, this is the first live that you've uh, you've watched for my stream. So thank you very much for staying here, Frank Amarante. You were part of uh, Doc Manu's stream last night, right? And uh, this is the first time you've watched me, and you won. <laughs> All right, Mika, what is your IGN? Demon, Demon. <laughs> Demon 19, that's her IGN. Okay, there we go. So Bulldog, we've already given away our 10 Chaos Legion packs. I don't want to keep you any further. Your bed is calling. So I don't know if you still have any last words before we uh, cut, before you get, you send you off. <laughs> nah, no, I just, uh, I, I appreciate the, the community and you for having me on here. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun and uh, it's, a, it's a good way to start off the day. Cool. All right. I think we got to let go of Bulldog now. His bed is calling. It's actually walking to his bed right now and about to fall asleep. Bulldog, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I owe you one. So if it's if there's anything that you need that I can help you with, let me know. I'm your bro from another mo. Uh, did I say that right? Okay. I'm your bro from another <laughs> mother. So go ahead and <laughs> you can go and sleep now, brother. Thank you very much for all your help. And we appreciate you. Thank you. Good luck with, right. uh, with the rest of your streams. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we've uh, finally done our interview with Bulldog. It is now over, and we're going to be giving away as well these 10 Chaos Legion packs. I want to thank you for staying with me. Um, uh, tomorrow, guys, is our supporter-only end-of-the-month raffle. So our grand prize will be a Quix the Devious. If you want to be a supporter, please check on the link uh, just, after, uh, just beside the stars. It's only 99 pesos a month, guys, and you'll get um, a lot of uh, perks as well as special prizes when you win on my events. 
So I hope you are also able to uh, be a supporter. Secondary prizes are Chaos Legion packs and we'll have gold foil cards as consolation prizes. Okay, yep, we'll be raiding Janny Depp in a bit after, uh, after the stream. We're going to be going to Janny Depp. But uh, I'd like to thank you again, guys. And for the winners, don't worry, I'll be sending your, uh, your packs in a bit. And uh, again, thank you for, uh, for staying with me. We'll be uh, switching over to Johnny Depp in a bit now. Thank you very much, guys. Again, mag hashtag Wolf's Den Raid. Ah. Kahit si Johnny Depp yan, <laughs> hashtag Wolf's Den Raid pa rin tayo, okay? Okay, switching off right now. be having 1k collection tower delegations to 10 people hello there amor thank you so much yeah and maraming maraming salamat shout out to our 17 viewers pa share ako nang live guys only those who have the ano ba uh follower and the share badge sinis iniisip ko notification badge wala pa lang ganun those who have the follower and share badge will be considered winners <laughs>